What's up? We're Mayfire and you are watching the AU Review. Well guys, welcome to Music Matters in Singapore. Thank you very much. Thank you. Talk, talk me through your experiences so far. I don't think you've had a show yet, have you? No, we haven't. No, no. It's tonight with the, yeah, the first show, so pretty excited about that kicking off. So what are your impressions of the city so far? Did you get to see some of the music here last night? Yeah, we checked out the, uh, the showcase here last night. Um, the city is beautiful, it's very clean, uh, lots of plantation, just a, just a rad kind of environment, isn't it? What made you decide to come here? <laughs> we, know, we know it's an amazing cultured place with a lot of friendly people and they really vibe the music too. So we just want to show them what we got. So let's talk a little bit about what you guys have got going on at the moment. Um, talk me through a little bit about the tour that you guys have have had over the course of the year and, and, and what you've got coming up in, in that respect. For sure, we at the start of this year we put out a single called Without You. Um, so we toured that across uh, Australia and that was really successful and we were really, we were really uh, surprised and humbled by the support we were able to, um, I suppose, get from that. Um, and uh, I guess it's just kind of uh, snowballed from there, we've been lucky enough to have some some people come and like help us out, and um, there's been a bit of uh, exposure that we've been helped out with, and and now here we are in a different continent. Just lucky, I guess. <laughs> and uh, tell me a, bit, a little bit about the single that you have, uh, your, your newly released single. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, a while ago, Dave came to me with some chords and showed me his initial vocal melody, and we worked out together some lyrics and that, and recorded with uh, Daniel Callard and came about and it evolved into a, a quite an epic song. It's very piano driven, it's got a lot of synth bass in the back of it, it's um, pretty catchy hooks and that. We're pretty pretty proud of it as a band. What influenced that, that, you know, that direction for the song? I think that it's a progression for us, uh, maybe even a movement if you will. We were listening to a lot more broader music and we came to find that, it's hard to say, but unfortunately rock and roll just doesn't cut it on its own anymore. So we had to introduce new elements and uh, yeah, I think we've succeeded. We've brought something fresh to the music scene. Uh, not even that rock and roll doesn't cut it, but just like the understanding of rock and roll isn't limited to like your dad's garage yeah, band. It can like, be much broader. It's like we, we're trying to like reimagine rock and roll. Yeah. yeah. And is that... Is that going to be a progression that you're going to a road that you're going to continue moving down? Yeah, for sure, yes. for sure, definitely. I mean, like I've been writing so much now with piano rather than just guitar, and I think that's helping with the transition of everything a lot. You know, it's a lot more feel when you write with piano, I believe. Anyway, that's how yeah I've been writing these days. So, so, so we might be seeing some acoustic piano numbers thrown in the set. Oh, <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Not ready but for that yet. Yeah, there will be a time when that will come. Will, yes. I'd be I'd be fascinated to hear you know some some of the origins of that song, songs in, uh, some some of the origins of your music if they're coming from a, from a piano. That's yeah, well, it means, fantastic. Yeah, it's hard to explain. It's like as I said, it's got a lot more feel when you sit down and start you know tinkering on the piano. I just feel it's, it's a lot it's a lot yeah, a lot more passionate than just strumming out some chords on a guitar. Yeah, no, more soulful. More soulful. Yeah, if you put it that way. More soulful. Does that, does that surprise you at all that you've ended up doing it does. that? It does surprise me a lot, but I mean, I write very differently. I write usually, I write in my head, I think of like a melody, and then I just like go home and I usually just figure it out, chords around it, and then go from there. Like I don't just start strumming an instrument or playing the piano, then trying to find some chords that work together to create a chorus. No, I usually, something will come to me, I might just be walking to the shops or down the beach or something, or there could be an, an incident in life that could happen then you could just get that idea in your head and you're like you know what that will work really well on the song our band's never been one to like set ourselves up within a genre either so we've yeah. always just been like you know what like if, if, this, if these are the songs that like manifest from whatever experiences we're dealing with and that those are the songs like we're not gonna we're not gonna limit ourselves to a genre just because that's what we previously adhered to what what is next Beyond the single, is there is there an album in, in the cards? Have you uh, are these are these songs that you're writing kind of coming together into a cohesive form? For sure, we're going to be releasing a four track EP uh, probably towards the end of October, 
and that will uh, be accompanied by a tour. We'll probably just do Australia again, and then hopefully by the end of this year, get back over to Southeast Asia. You have this song. You started on the piano. What then is the process of, of bringing all the other elements into it? Is it really just throwing uh, you beat, drum beat, <laughs> uh, piano and beat, and and we're very big about visual imagery as well. Yeah. So. When we heard Crawling come out as a whole, we used our brain power together and created visual visual imagery. And you'll see that in the video too. It's very, very artsy. Yeah. Very, very like Tumblr-esque, almost lookbooky, like fashion-y. Um, yeah. A lot of like artsy hand movements and stuff like that. So who made the video? Uh, Tim Nagel. He also did Without You For Us as well. Oh, cool. Yeah. So you knew, you knew you were going to get a good product out of it? Absolutely. We love that guy's work and trust him. <laughs> We've been looking for like a good, you know, uh, cinematographer for a while now. And it's like this guy is just nailing it for us at the moment. So we be more happy with his work. Honestly. Fantastic. Well, guys, thank you very much for your time. And enjoy the rest of it here in Singapore. Thank you, Larry. Thanks for having us.